Hi, I'm Gary Baldwin. I grew up here in Bluefield, West Virginia. Sort of been an artist since, uh, you know, since I can remember. I was always fascinated with objects and making things. And we live in a society, we throw away so much stuff. And that always puzzled me, what we throw away, because I think everything has a, has a life and it should live on as long as possible. And I've always picked up found objects. And it's actually considered, there's a folk term for it, it's called outsider art. This is one of the rooms that we have, and everything in here is just found objects. Our mummy here is all made up out of trash. And we just did this Egyptian theme, and I painted it in a week, this room and stuff. And you can see it's marbles, and it's cardboard, and pieces of uh, wood, and just anything I can find. Our tables here, we have uh, actually four of them in house, and these are old rusty barrels we picked up out here, uh, out of the back, out of an alley. They were rusted. We painted them. Uh, somebody had this glass, they were discarding it, and it was actually brand new glass. I don't know why they were gonna throw it away. Most of my stuff just is whimsy, you know. I just, uh, it's my sense of humor. I got Christmas garland there to give it hair. I got Christmas balls there, and it, the face on it is actually a milk jug. Since these looks like cats, I was sitting there painting it, and I thought, well, ha, Tom Tom. Gas tanks from cars and two globes picked up from flea markets. It's all welded together and it's actually a chair. You can actually sit in it. They're made out of old cardboard tubes. These are actually cardboard tubes where they pour concrete on the interstates and stuff. And I put wood on them and, they're, and so they're, they're drums. You could actually play them, but I just use them as decorative objects actually. I'm with a, group, a good group of uh, artists here in the Gary Bowling's House of Art in downtown and a lot of us are recyclers and we paint on any and everything that we find. I literally pick stuff up out of the ditch and remake it and give it a new life and actually have sold these pieces of art all around the nation. They have traveled the world. So uh, Bluefield's trash has, you know, gone global.